You can't remember where you put your keys. Again, your brain just completely blanked on your co-worker's name mid-conversation. You studied for hours last night and now half of it has vanished into thin air. Forgetting feels like your brain is broken, like some cruel joke where the most important computer in your body keeps deleting files you actually need. But here's the weird part. Memory champions, people who can memorize entire decks of cards in minutes, deliberately train their brains to forget things. Sleep literally wipes memories from your brain every single night. And neuroscientists are discovering that people with perfect memory become completely unable to learn new things. So what's going on here? Is forgetting just your brain malfunctioning? Or is it actually the secret to making you smarter? Let's be honest, forgetting is the absolute worst. It's like having a personal assistant who's constantly drunk on the job Losing your most important documents while somehow perfectly remembering every embarrassing thing you did in middle school. Your brain holds on to useless junk, like the theme song from a serial commercial you saw once in 1997, but completely dumps critical information like where you parked your car at the mall. When forgetting strikes, it doesn't mess around. You're standing in front of your professor, mouth opening and closing like a broken robot, while the answer you knew perfectly five minutes ago has just evaporated. It's not just inconvenient, it's genuinely terrifying. That moment when you realize you've forgotten something important feels like watching pieces of yourself disappear into a black hole. But the real nightmare is what forgetting represents. Every lost memory is proof that your brain is slowly falling apart. Students panic when they can't recall information during exams, convinced they're going to fail. Older adults live in constant fear that forgetting where they put their glasses is the first sign of dementia. We've turned forgetting into this monster that's stalking us, waiting to steal our identities one memory at a time. The forgetting process itself is brutal. Your hippocampus, that's your brain's memory center, literally starts breaking down the neural pathways that store your experiences. It's like having tiny demolition crews running around your brain, tearing down bridges you spent energy building. Scientists call this synaptic pruning, but it sounds more like synaptic vandalism to most of us. And don't even get me started on how forgetting sabotages your daily life. You spend 20 minutes looking for your phone while you're literally talking on it. You introduce yourself to the same person three times at a party. You forget what you walked into a room for, then remember as soon as you leave. It's like your brain is pranking you 24 seven and you're the only one not in on the joke. The worst part, forgetting seems completely random and unfair. You can perfectly recall the lyrics to songs you hate, but completely blank on the name of someone you just met. Your brain apparently thinks remembering every single Pokemon is more important than remembering to pick up milk at the store. The whole system seems designed by someone who clearly never had to function in the real world. But wait until you hear what scientists discovered when they studied people who never forget anything. The forgetting situation has gotten absolutely out of control. We're living in what researchers call the memory crisis and the statistics are mind-blowing. The average person forgets 50% of new information within an hour, 70% within 24 hours, and 90% within a week. That means most of everything you learn today will be gone by next Tuesday. Your brain is essentially running a massive clearance sale where everything must go. Let's talk about students, because their situation is genuinely heartbreaking. They spend hours cramming information into their heads, only to watch it leak out like water through a broken bucket. College students report forgetting 60% of lecture material within a week of hearing it. These kids aren't lazy or stupid. Their brains are actively working against them, deleting information faster than they can learn it. But here's where it gets really disturbing. People with traumatic brain injuries show something called accelerated long-term forgetting. They can learn information normally, 
but it disappears from their brains at superhuman speed. Within a week, they've lost memories that healthy people would retain for months. It's like their brains have been programmed to self-destruct any new information. The workplace forgetting epidemic is equally brutal. Emergency responders, who need to remember life-saving procedures perfectly, show massive memory degradation over time. Paramedics forget critical protocols, surgeons lose detailed procedural knowledge, and air traffic controllers have information just disappear from their heads during high-stress situations. These are people whose forgetting could literally kill someone, and their brains don't care. Even memory champions, the supposed superhumans of recall, admit that forgetting is their biggest enemy. They spend thousands of hours building elaborate memory palaces only to watch them crumble as soon as they stop maintaining them. Without constant practice, their superhuman abilities fade back to normal human levels. It's like being a professional athlete who loses all their strength the moment they stop training. The research on children is particularly devastating. Kids who suffer mild traumatic brain injuries show impaired memory recall for months afterward with their forgetting rates dramatically accelerated compared to healthy children. Their developing brains, which should be learning machines, become memory deletion systems instead. Teachers report students forgetting lessons they learned just days before, creating an educational nightmare where nothing sticks. And here's the truly messed up part. The harder you try to remember something, the more likely you are to forget it. Students who spend all night cramming show worse long-term retention than those who study casually over time. Your brain apparently interprets intense effort as a signal that this information is stressful and should be dumped as quickly as possible. The system is completely backwards. Sleep makes everything worse. Every night, your brain goes through what scientists call synaptic renormalization. Basically, mass memory deletion. You go to bed knowing things and wake up having forgotten them with no choice in the matter. Sleep is supposed to be restful, but for your memories it's more like a nightly apocalypse. But forgetting also does something completely unexpected to your brain. Here's where things get absolutely wild. Forgetting. This thing we've been treating like a brain disease is actually what makes you intelligent. Scientists studying people with perfect memory discovered something shocking. They can't function in normal society. Their brains become so cluttered with useless information that they lose the ability to think clearly, make decisions, or solve problems. But it gets way crazier. Researchers have found that your brain doesn't just passively forget things. It actively, deliberately deletes memories using specialized molecular machinery designed specifically for forgetting. Your neurons have entire biochemical systems dedicated to wiping out information. This isn't a bug in your mental software. It's the most important feature. Memory champions have figured out the secret. Strategic forgetting is what makes their superhuman recall possible. They don't try to remember everything. They carefully choose what to forget, so their brains have space for what matters. It's like having a smartphone with unlimited storage, but realizing that keeping every single photo and app actually makes the phone run slower. The pros delete ruthlessly. Sleep researchers have discovered that forgetting during sleep isn't random destruction. It's precision editing. Your brain literally reviews every memory from the day and decides what to keep and what to trash. The memories that get strengthened during sleep are the important ones. The memories that get deleted are the clutter that would otherwise interfere with learning new things. Sleep is like having a professional organizer clean your mental closet every night. Students who learn to forget strategically actually perform better on exams than those who try to remember everything. The key is something called adaptive forgetting, letting go of irrelevant details so your brain can focus on core concepts. Kids who master this skill 
don't just get better grades. They become more creative, better problem solvers, and more mentally flexible. Here's the really mind-blowing part. Forgetting makes you smarter by preventing interference. When you try to learn something new, old memories can get in the way and confuse your brain. By strategically forgetting outdated information, you clear mental space for new knowledge to take root. It's like deleting old apps from your phone so new ones run faster. Except the apps are memories and the phone is your consciousness. The forgetting process during learning is even more sophisticated. When you're trying to remember something, your brain simultaneously strengthens the memory you want while actively suppressing competing memories that might interfere. This isn't accidental. It's a precision cognitive tool that prevents mental chaos. Your brain is constantly playing editor, deciding which memories deserve to survive and which ones need to go. Neuroscientists have found that people who are better at intentional forgetting are also better at focusing, learning new skills, and adapting to change. The ability to let go of irrelevant information is directly linked to cognitive flexibility and creative thinking. In other words, the better you are at forgetting, the smarter you become. The research behind adaptive forgetting is absolutely fascinating. Scientists have discovered that your brain has two completely different memory systems, and we've been confusing them this whole time. The first system is for storing important information long term. The second system is for temporary workspace memory. And this one is supposed to forget things quickly and efficiently. When you try to remember everything, you're essentially breaking both systems. Your long-term storage gets cluttered with junk, while your temporary workspace can't clear itself for new information. It's like trying to use your computer's desktop as permanent file storage while also using it as a workspace. Everything becomes a disorganized mess. The forgetting mechanism itself is incredibly sophisticated. During sleep, your brain uses something called synaptic homeostasis. Basically, it scales down neural connections across the board, but the important memories resist this scaling better than unimportant ones. What looks like random memory deletion is actually a carefully orchestrated process that preserves signal while eliminating noise. Brain imaging studies show exactly what's happening during strategic forgetting. When people intentionally forget unwanted memories, their prefrontal cortex sends inhibitory signals to memory storage areas, actively suppressing the unwanted information. This isn't passive decay, it's active memory management. Your brain literally has a delete button and it's controlled by your conscious mind. The timing of forgetting is also precisely calibrated. Memories that are moderately activated get weakened, while memories that are strongly or weakly activated survive. This creates a sweet spot for forgetting that eliminates interfering information while preserving important memories. It's like your brain has an automatic spam filter that's constantly sorting your mental inbox. Memory consolidation researchers have found that forgetting during sleep serves multiple functions simultaneously. It clears out temporary memories to make room for new learning, strengthens important memories by removing competing information, and even helps integrate new knowledge with existing memory networks. Sleep isn't just maintaining your memories. It's actively optimizing your entire knowledge system. The most successful students have learned to work with their brain's natural forgetting rhythms instead of fighting against them. They use techniques like spaced repetition, which deliberately lets information fade slightly before reinforcing it, making memory stronger and more durable. By strategically forgetting and relearning, they build memories that can survive for decades instead of days. So what's the real story here? Forgetting isn't your enemy. It's your brain's most sophisticated feature. Think of your mind like a garden. Without pruning, plants grow wild and chaotic, competing for resources until nothing thrives. But with strategic pruning, selective forgetting, you get healthy growth, beautiful flowers, and fruit that actually ripens. 
The key is learning to distinguish between good forgetting and bad forgetting. Good forgetting clears out mental clutter, eliminates interference, and makes space for new learning. Bad forgetting happens when you lose information you actually need because you haven't reinforced it properly. The goal isn't to eliminate forgetting, it's to become the editor of your own memory. Memory champions don't have superhuman brains. They've just learned to use forgetting as a tool instead of treating it as a problem. They deliberately forget irrelevant details so they can focus on what matters. They let competing memories fade so new information can stick. They work with their brain's natural deletion system instead of fighting against it. The most resilient learners in the world, from medical students to language learners to professional athletes, have all figured out the same secret. They don't try to remember everything. They focus intensely on core knowledge while letting peripheral information fade away. This isn't laziness. It's cognitive efficiency at the highest level. Your forgetting system is already perfectly designed to help you learn, adapt, and think clearly every time you can't remember something unimportant. Your brain is making space for something that matters more. Every time sleep deletes yesterday's random thoughts, it's optimizing your mental operating system for tomorrow's challenges. The research is crystal clear. People who embrace strategic forgetting become better learners, clearer thinkers, and more creative problem solvers. It's not about having a perfect memory. It's about having a perfectly curated memory. Your brain is already trying to give you this gift. The question is whether you'll fight against it or learn to dance with it. So the next time you forget something unimportant, don't panic. Your brain isn't broken. It's working exactly as designed. It's clearing mental space, eliminating interference, and preparing you to learn something new. Forgetting isn't memory failure. It's memory upgrade. Your brain, the smartest system in the known universe, comes with built-in memory management. Trust it. If you enjoyed discovering why your faulty memory is actually a feature, not a bug, hit that subscribe button for Weirdly Brilliant. We're diving deep into the most counterintuitive secrets of science every week. Breaking down complex research into stories so simple an eight-year-old could understand them. But so mind-blowing that adults can't stop sharing them. Next week, we're exploring how viruses, those microscopic killers, actually created human consciousness. Don't miss it. Subscribe now and join the Weirdly Brilliant community.